It is called March Madness for the Mind, a variation of March Madness, the term for the annual March competition to crown an American basketball college champion team. But this event, held this year at the San Francisco Science Museum called the Exploratorium, celebrates mental agility, not athletic ability. Teams from American universities displayed devices that they have invented and plan to market through companies they have created. A team from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute has developed a portable water purification device which it hopes to sell around the world for one dollar a unit. The inventors say the filter could help one billion people who lack clean drinking water. Team member Dave Perry says they put the filter on an old soda bottle. And what they do is they just fill it up with the dirty water and they screw on the bottle top water purification device and they squeeze the bottle and then clean water just comes out of the top of it that they can then drink. A team from Colorado State University has also created a clean water system and will market birth supplies for midwives and hospitals in the developing world. This PhD graduate from Brown University developed a disposal system for compact fluorescent lamps which contain dangerous mercury. Engineering students from Northwestern University have developed a product called Apnea Alert for prematurely born infants who are subject to apnea or breathing stoppages. The device attached to the baby's abdomen monitors vital signs. Northwestern student Yale Sun was involved with clinical trials in South Africa. It's really, really, really exciting. I'm sure for the engineers, you know, they, <laughs> it's a daunting task. But for me, it's, it's challenging, it's exciting. You get to talk to all these mothers on, you know, in, in clinical trials during, and talk to them, get their feedback, and get to know them personally, and I love it. Other medical devices include this ventilator that could be used in a pandemic and can also fill a shortage in the developing world, says physician Matt Callahan a biodesign fellow at Stanford University. Uh, when you go overseas and you look at countries like uh, India or China or Africa, the need is not a what if, it's a daily routine uh, problem where you've got thousands of people dying every week because in surgery you don't have ventilators, in trauma you don't have ventilators because of the cost. The Stanford team hopes to sell a model for $300, a fraction of the cost for large hospital ventilators. A Brown University team has created a water carrying cart for the African market. The student created company is called Anza, which means start in Swahili, says Steve Salucci, who chairs the board of directors. The push cart is very cheap to make because uh, our inputs to make the wheels are trash, essentially, our recycled tires um, that we have a uh, innovative process uh, of cutting circles out of the uh, out of tire treads and bolting them together to form a very strong wheel. Students from Michigan Technological University are developing better helmets for those who play American football and for motorcycle riders. Student advisor Humera Fasi Houdin helps students bring their inventions to market, guiding them through the process of getting funding, applying for government approvals, and marketing their products. These students have figured out that they can solve social problems and make money uh, at the same time. And in making money, they can create self-sustaining and lasting enterprises that reinvest proceeds to do more good. She says these students combine innovation and business with social concerns. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, San Francisco.